Hello. Try to adjust here. Is that okay? Can you see me and hear me? Things set up very nicely today. Happy Christmas Eve Eve, or is it Merry? I keep saying Merry Christmas Eve Eve and Happy Christmas Eve Eve. I don't know what the right one is, but. Hi, Olivia. I think it's Merry Christmas Eve Eve. I'm very excited about this because my nails are due. Hi, Emily. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Hannah. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for spending your Christmas Eve Eve with me. Catherine, Krupa, Yvonne. We have a nice little crew. I'm really looking forward to this. Annika, hey. Kyra. Welcome, guys. Hey, Emily. Nicole. Gang's all here. Krupa. Am I saying your name right? Hi, Eileen and daughter. Welcome, guys. Okay. Does everyone know what color they are doing for Christmas? I'm debating between two. I figured you guys could help me decide. Hi, Kaza. All right, Kelsey, the, the most important question. I really wanted to do like a Christmas red, but I think I'm gonna go a little darker. And Olivia wants to know if I'm going short. I am, I'm going short. I cut my nails off right before we went live just so I didn't have to like spend this whole time filing them down, but I'm kind of loving it. I'm hoping I can get a nice clean short mani and it won't make me as upset. Big apple red, oh, that is such a good one with a little glitter on the ring, I love that. Hey, Phoenix. Um, I had this, I broke this thumbnail at least a month ago and I've been um, putting a silk wrap on it every time I do my nails so that it didn't break any deeper because it was really, really low, but it finally grew out. So I just cut the nails off today and it kind of feels good to like not have that anymore. You're welcome. I'm glad you guys are able to tune in. Hey, Kayla. You're not late, Destiny. We just got started. You're right on time. Hey, Soph. One of my nails broke today, so I have to, oh, it's like such a bad feeling, but it's nice when they're all the same level. Like if I have a broken one that I try to repair, I know it's broken. It's just in the I feel it, like I feel the silk wrap under my nail. I'm really not good with any kind of like appliques, like any kind of um, like press on nails or, or wraps, I just feel them. Oh, it's okay, you didn't have to paint, you could just hang. Oh, that's so cool, Emily, whereabouts in Connecticut? I'll pull my colors so I can show you guys. All right, so if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I got these polishes from Nails Inc. yesterday. Um, I've never used them before. They are a vegan line. They're 10 free. They're really cute bottles. They sent these three colors. I swatched all of them earlier and really loved them all, but I don't think I'm going to wear the light pink for Christmas. Oh, nice. I grew up not too far from there. Um, so I'm debating between these two. Oh, so if you're on it, <laughs> I'd expect nothing less. This like burgundy is Victoria and the lighter one is Tate. I swatched them both, they're both beautiful, but I when I put them both on, two coats of the dark just looked, I don't know, a little better than two coats of the red. And I think I wanna go darker, I don't know. Victoria, we're getting a mix of both. The dark one, okay. I feel like I have enough votes to move forward with this. So I'm gonna try this one and then they sent the base and top coat as well. So I'm gonna do a full Nails Ink Manny and hopefully report back to you about how long it lasts. Ooh, we've got like a good mix here. I think I'm gonna go dark because it does have like a little bit of red in it. Has anyone tried these polishes before? Nails Ink, let me know if you have. You know, I can't remember what I did last year. I honestly think I had black nails on Christmas, which sounds kind of like morbid, but. Kelsey, what do you think about the line? Fill us in, fill all of the haven't tried it yet because I'm very curious. Before I get started, I'm just gonna like clean up 
any of the polish I might have left in the nails. Uh, aw, thank you. Yay, OPI and a fair and red square. Ooh, love it. Okay, Kelsey likes them. After my quick little swatch, I had nothing bad to say. So I'm curious to do a full mani. I just swatched the color, but see how the base and top coat wears with it. Can you guys honestly believe that Christmas is like basically tomorrow? I'm, I, it hasn't processed yet for me. This year has been like such a whirlwind. I cannot believe it's Christmas. Oh my God, Silver Sparkle. I just did Silver Sparkle on my last Manny. I don't know if you saw it and I, I really did love the change, but I'm not a big like disco party nail girl. I really like them all to be the same. It really doesn't feel like Christmas. I mean, it does and it doesn't. We haven't been able to do like all the Christmas stuff we'd normally do. I did say your name right, yay. <laughs> Sweetie. Is there anything I want for Christmas? Not really. Honestly, it's like the first year I really don't want anything. The world to go back to normal, that'd be great. The holidays, I wouldn't say they've been hard. They've just been really different and they're gonna be different tomorrow and, and Christmas, but it's not the end of the world. It could be worse for sure. So we're just, we're going with the flow. I think we've all accepted that this, this year is just gonna be different and that's what it is. Yay, Nicole, welcome. I'm so glad you made it. Tinsy. How about you guys? Are you doing what you normally do for Christmas or have you guys scaled back? Are you keeping it simple and local? Aw, I know the vibe was a little different this year for sure. Um, I do use the biotin once in a while, for sure. When I'm doing regular manicures that are not olive in June and that are not gel, I'll use the biotin. Family, keeping it simple, immediate family only, same, Cassie. That's exactly what we're doing. Oh, no. Ada, Ada, did I say that properly? Were you the one who had DM DM'd me yesterday about your COVID? Oh no, Australia's, oof. It's crazy, it's like crazy where it's picking up. Like, I don't know, I'm so tired of it. <laughs> okay, oh poor thing, how are you feeling today? Oh, your sister's had it. Yvette, are your sisters, are you guys all in the same house? Oh, California COVID. Oh my gosh, be careful, yeah. It's it's kind of at the point where most people are probably gonna get it and or be exposed to it. It's just, it's so hard to, your whole house at it. It's so hard to contain. I mean, even with the vaccine, I, I don't think it's just gonna disappear, unfortunately. But just keep being safe. I mean, what else can we do? Wear our masks, no large gatherings. Um, I did want to say this before I got started. These bottles are beautiful. I love the square design. I love the lids, but I could not open them. Like it does not twist open. So I have to pull it off and then use it like this, which is kind of annoying, but you can tell it's like getting all scratched up from trying to open it. I think it was Kelsey who said she's used this before. Did you have the same problem or did your caps open? Because I cannot get these to open. I had Dan try too and he couldn't get it either. Hi, Krupa. All right, let me get started with my base. But I'll try to um, paint and chat at the same time. Or read. Make sure I'm using the right. You do pull the cap off. I, I like have to pull the cap off, so that probably is the design. Kind of weird, but I'd rather it work. Okay, the Butter London, you you have to pull the lid off? I honestly don't think I've ever used a Butter London polish. I've seen them though. Yeah, they're like the little square bottles. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, all right, I, so I'm not alone. 
was just weird. I was like, these are so difficult to open. There's no way that this is how it's supposed to be. But I guess it is. I don't mind the little cap, though, for painting. It makes it a little bit easier. But yes, we've got some short nails for Christmas. I'm kind of excited about the change. They were so long for so long. So long for so long. Um, which I love. I love my long nails, but there's so much freedom in short nails. <laughs> I can't believe how many of you guys had COVID and how many of your family members did. That's nuts. I mean, I actually can believe it because this thing is spreading like wild, wildfire, wildfire, but it's just craziness. I wish I could put some Christmas music on, but I don't want to get hit with any YouTube things. Hey, Kristen. <laughs> Hi, Charlize. Okay, first impression of the Nails Ink Polish. The brushes are awesome. I like them. I love how wide they are. I love how much polish they gather. They're really easy to use. Definitely my speed. I set up my light a little different today, so we're facing the other way, but. I need to put something on this wall. The walls in here are like totally empty, except for my nail polish. Okay. Finish the base and then I'm gonna let it dry for a few. So are you guys all done with your Christmas shopping or does anyone have to go out tomorrow? I was out all day trying to finish up and I think I'm done. I don't know about you, but I always get to the point where I'm done, but then I feel like someone has more gifts than somebody else and then I try to balance it out and then I just spend forever shopping for like random gifts, but oh, you're done but need to wrap. Done with shopping, so jealous. Bye, vet. Yeah, online was, I did a lot of online and I think everything finally arrived. One order got messed up that I had ordered. Um, they sent the wrong thing. I was so bummed and it won't be here till after Christmas, the replacement, so. Drugstore gift card run, I love it. Need to wrap a couple things. Uh, I'm pretty much done wrapping. I think I'm all done wrapping. I think I'm all done shopping. I might go for one more thing tomorrow. And we did all of our baking on Sunday but I kind of want to bake one more thing tomorrow morning too. Who's the most difficult person to shop for? Ooh, that's a great question. Let me think. I would have to say it's either my brother or my dad. Just because I always find the boys more difficult anyway, but my dad just like is so easy going that like, I don't know. He doesn't have anything that he like really, really wants. And my brother just like loves really nice things. <laughs> so it's either get him something like super fancy or I don't know. I kind of like what I got him this year though. My dad, I'm, I kind of went like tandem on him and my mom's gift. I got them something together, but, um, I, yeah, the boys are the hardest to shop for. <laughs> my brother's so bougie. So is mine. My brother's so bougie. Ugh. Red, blue, and green. What other colors? Golds. I would add like a fun glitter. Yeah, the boys for sure. Who is the hardest person for you guys to shop for? My sister I could shop for all day. Like all day, every day. And my mom. They're both really easy. But I don't want to talk about my mom's thing because she might be watching. But my sister and I decided this year we weren't going to get each other gifts. And we were just going to treat ourselves to facials. We were going to go book a facial together because... Well, I am getting married next year, so I want to just take better care of my skin more regularly. But also, like, what a great investment. We should be investing in our skin more often. <laughs> so we're like, every year, let's just go get facials. And I'm so down for that. So that's our plan. So we skipped gifts, which I'm totally okay with. I want to get everybody else on, like, an activity thing. I feel like I would love for, like, my siblings and I to just rent a, like, ski house or something every January and just go do something together and spend time. Um... And, like, even my family just, like, go spend... I don't know. It's just so much more fun to go do things. Obviously, this year, there's nothing to be done, but camping, that would be fun. Not now, though. It's way, way too cold. But, yeah, like, if we just, you know, planned on doing a summer camping trip or something. 
Oh, Mandalorian shirts, that's awesome. It's always tough when you just start dating, like, what to get each other. As you get older, yes, Maddie, I totally agree. And as you get older, the experiences are so much better than the material things for the mere fact that, like, you have so many material things. Like, that sounds kind of bad, but, like, as you get older, you accumulate things. So there's only so many more material things you can add to your collection. So it's nice to have things to do. My boyfriend has everything. Very true. Memories and moments cannot be bought. That is 100% fact. And it's just like, it's nice. And also, if I don't know, I get to the point where it's like, like you, you have certain gifts in mind for certain people and I love that when you know exactly what you want to get someone. But when you're trying to guess, you end up just spending money on things that they probably don't really want and or need. And it's just a waste. So like, why not all go in and do something like more fun? Ooh, hydrafacials. I feel like I had one of those a long time ago and it was amazing. I should definitely revisit. Yeah, we're very excited about our facials. We're gonna try to do them more often. I'll show her Sam together. Aw. <laughs> Your mom's so funny. Yeah, she got like the wish of a lifetime. <laughs> oh, big cuticle oil news coming up soon. Like we're very, 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 very close. I'm so excited. But I've been really MIA because I've been working on all these things like kind of behind the scenes. 2021, I really want to show up in new ways. Um, ah, and just be more consistent. For Christmas, so tomorrow night, we're having dinner with Dan's immediate family. And then on Christmas Day, we're going to be with my immediate family. So we've kind of seen both of those groups um, exclusively and same with our siblings. So... It's kind of really low key. Normally my whole family gets together and it's like well over 30 people, 40 people probably. Um, and it's so fun and I'm gonna be really bummed to not see anyone this year. It's gonna be weird. It really will be. But your sister-in-law is an esthetician. Oh, you are so lucky, Nicole. A facial every three weeks? Like what were the results like? I'm honestly gonna try to do them. So we're getting married in July and I'm gonna try to do facials. I would like to get maybe three before the wedding. So maybe one in January, March, May, or June, I don't know. That's, you are lucky. Oh, what a gift. Okay, I'm moving on to my first color, or coat of color. That's nice, that is certainly a perk. The only thing I can offer people is manicures, <laughs> which is fine. Some people like that too. I'm gonna just take a break between fingers and pop up. Yes, very lucky, that's awesome. Ooh, glitter French tip, do that. Do that, Maddie, and then send me a pic. I'd love to see how that comes out. Okay, something about just like short, dark nails is my favorite. And I tried to do like a squoval shape See, isn't that color so pretty? I love it. Red cream all week. Now I'm going for a deep red shimmer. That sounds awesome. Right, Kyra? I'm digging it. I'm, yes, totally doing my own nails for the wedding. Absolutely. I think I, I would go crazy if someone else did them for me. Uh, when the live is over, you can send me your nail pics either on Instagram. You could do it on Facebook. I don't usually use my Facebook page much. Uh, Instagram's at underscore Amanda Bella. Facebook, if you search Amanda Bella blog, it'll show up. You can email them to me. I always put the email in um, the description box of these videos. That's probably the easiest. You could tweet if anyone uses Twitter anymore. I pop on every once in a while. But my Twitter handle is the same as my Instagram. Okay, second finger. Wait, I'm just still hung up on Nicole who got a facial every three weeks. That's so awesome. I'm usually super particular about flooding the nail bed, like trying so hard not to do that. Wow, that coat was way darker. Um, but now that I have these great Olive and June cleanup brushes, I'm like, flood away <laughs> because they just clean up so well. Have you guys been entering my weekly giveaways? They've been so fun. I'm so happy that 
you're loving them. Shipping has been taking a while on some of these packages, but ah. the last one is live if you haven't entered yet. You want to get a fuzz in it. Does anyone have Cleaning up is hard. I just use 100% acetone for the darker colors and it, it makes a big difference, but I am trying my best not to flood the bed, but sometimes it just like, you can't help it. <sighs> okay, this is, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It is going to need a good cleanup, but I'm happy. Pure acetone before. Is that for the peeling question? Oh, uh, well, you're in for a treat when this is all over, Nicole. I don't know about you guys, but I've been breaking out so much on my like cheek and chin area, like insane and I know it's from the masks and I do my best to wash my masks regularly I have a ton that I rotate but it just cannot be avoided and I'm so grateful I don't have to go to a job that makes me wear one every day but I feel for people who have to be in those masks like mask me is no joke no joke it's very very much a problem but let me know if you've been experiencing that too and if you do anything to help it I don't know what to do. I've been doing like at home masks, trying not to pick. But it's driving me nuts, the freaking masks. Hi, Mary Jo. Favorite brand and color of polish mask me. Yeah, mask me is a thing. Um, my favorite brand and color, I don't know, I've really been loving Olive and June this year, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, they are certainly climbing the ranks for favorite polish. Um, but before that, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel was always my go-to. And I recently tried the lacquer polishes, L-A-K-U-R by who was the London town I think they were great 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 polishes like so so good if you're looking for a new brand to try um, and so far I'm enjoying these too nails ink seven or no ten free ten free and fully vegan which is cool Um, I feel like after this, I need to make Dan watch a Christmas movie with me. We've got to get in the spirit. <laughs> We've been watching Christmas movies here and there, but only a few and we're running out of time. What is your favorite? Let me know a Christmas movie I should watch that maybe I never have seen. I see was my fave. Ooh, OPI is just like, you can't go wrong. Cassie, what has been your favorite one lately? Um, these, I didn't buy these. They sent them to me to try. Um, I'm not sure where they're available. I know you can order online. I don't know if they're in store anywhere, but I'll be sure to link. Carol Burnett, what is that? Oh, Annika, I've got to try these new Essie brushes. Everyone keeps talking about them. I just haven't made my way there yet. Okay, Emily, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the cartoon or the one with Jim Carrey? A Christmas Story was like one of my favorites growing up for sure. Ralphie. I loved him. We had this conversation the other day and my favorite movie I have decided, my favorite Christmas movie, not movie movie, um, is definitely the Santa Claus, the first one. I just love everything about that movie. I really like Tim Allen too and I just like the time period that it's in because it's like when I was younger. That's kind of how I remember, I don't know, like life and Christmas. Second and third get a little weird. Not weird, but they, they get what I like to call Disney-fied. Like all the Disney 
actors and sets and outfits are so like over the top. I like when movies are just like very realistic. Hey Leslie, no such thing as late. You're right on time. Um, so yeah, Santa Claus 2 and 3 are a little weird to me, but the first one for sure is a great, great movie. And then I do like um, National Lampoon. That's a close second. One of my friends recommended While You Were Sleeping the other day, the movie, uh, with Sandra Bullock. And I think Peter Gallagher, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an older movie. It was actually really cute. White Christmas, everyone used to say that, I remember. Um, I never seen it, I've never seen White Christmas. Maybe we'll watch that tonight. Have you guys seen The Christmas Chronicles? Oh, Home Alone is good. We watched Home Alone 2 a few weeks ago. I had never seen Home Alone 2, but I used to love Home Alone 3. And of course, the original. While you were sleeping for, yes! It was really cute, it was a great movie. Christmas with the Cranks, that's, that's a classic as well. I just love, I love Tim Allen. I think that's it. Anything with Tim Allen, I'm like sold on. All right, I always leave my thumbs for last because I like them to clean up. Home Alone 3, it's like, it's kind of like the less, I don't know, iconic version of Home Alone, but that little kid was so cute. Ooh, The Holiday. And Love Actually, we haven't watched Love Actually yet. Oh, Elf, we haven't watched that yet either. Let me know if you know where Nails Inc. is. Snow Globe, ooh, yes, that's one of those like freeform movies or ABC Family, whatever it used to be. My sister brought this up the other day. She's like, I thought your favorite Christmas movie was The Mistletones. And I was like, no, it's not my favorite, but there was a year where I was obsessed with that movie, the year that it came out. Um, I wonder when, I wanna say like 2014 maybe, but it's such a good movie. If you've never seen The Mistletones, check it out. I don't know where you could watch it now. It used to be on Netflix, I think. But um, it's with Tia or Tamara Maori. I don't know which one. And um, what's her name? Tori Spelling. And they have like a little acapella group. It's so cute. And Tia or Tamara, I wish I knew which one it was, um, has the best wardrobe. Like the best wardrobe in the whole, the whole thing. I just want everything she wears. The Grinch with Jim Carrey. Can't go wrong. All right, let me do my thumbs real quick so I can play catch up. Definitely making a mess. Not the cleanest. Okay, that's a little streaky, but do what we can. It's hard to paint like sideways. I wonder how many lives we did this year. I should go back and count them. We were on a roll for a while, but they were fun. I definitely next year want to have a live schedule, just like plan on doing at least once a month and just put the calendar out at the beginning of the year so you could just mark your calendars and we can plan on them. I feel like that would be the best way to do it. Thank you, I love the green and silver Manny. I was actually in Home Depot this morning and I asked this guy for help, like one of the employees, and he was like, oh, I love your nails. I was like, thank you. I had that Manny on still. Thanks, Olivia, I'm glad you like it. Thanks, Cassie. Yeah, I think like a schedule would be great for everyone, myself included, I do good with a schedule. Thanks, Leslie. I know I'm loving it. I'm very, very happy. It still has a little bit of red to it. Obviously the second coat will darken it up a bit, but I'm loving the shorter nails, loving the color, and it's still, I can get some wear out of red polishes. Aw. Awesome, Kyra. Yes, I'm gonna have it all planned out. 
hopefully. I have like a lot of, I'm very uh, ambitious for 2021. I have all these things I really wanna do and a lot of things I wanna like help get myself organized for YouTube, blog, Instagram, all that stuff. Um, and we'll see if I follow through with them. <laughs> I'm like the queen of coming up with the ideas and like the complete loser when it comes to executing them. So we'll see, it's why it takes me forever to just do anything. Oh, thank you. Eye makeup is like the hardest for me, I feel. I just ooh, do what kind of works for me. I use like the same palette almost every single day if I wear eye makeup. I was running around today. Uh, I had a hair appointment this morning. I had to get my gray roots <laughs> covered for Christmas. Um, so I had this really cute like newsboy cap and then I, I had no makeup on because I knew I was gonna be sitting there in the, the uh, mask, but there's still a little dye up top, so. Hi, Ashnor. Oh my God, did I just see BK come through? My brother. My brother and his girlfriend. Matt, we were just talking about you. All right, we're getting ready for coat two. Wow, there's definitely gonna be a little cleanup today. I'm so happy. Oh, there she is. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> Eye makeup is the hardest and forget liquid liner like I'm a liquid liner loser it is not my specialty at all although I did try the Joa liner this year very very good give a nail update what, what do you mean <laughs> what kind of update we have one coat on a base coat and one coat of color it's almost dry I just did the thumbs though so I want to give them another sec I guess I could start the others Give me your nail updates. Where are you guys at? Ooh, Anika, what palettes did you get? There's a lot of pretty ones out right now. I just got a palette from Jessica Simpson. She like comes out with makeup here and there, um, but I think I wanna do a full video with it. It's a bunch of shadows and then a blush and a bronzer. Halfway done with my first hand. All right, you're getting there. We're about on the same. Pushing my cuticles before starting. Awesome. I tried to do the cutting, the filing, the pushing, the prep before hopping on because I always find that takes the longest. And then I get sidetracked talking to you guys. Taking collagen, ah, oh, I missed it. I saw you were taking collagen. Is it working? Do you like it? My ring light, yes, I have um, a Diva ring light, a Supernova, which I love, but I just got this light from Amazon. It's like 20 bucks. It comes with a clip and a phone stand. So my phone, you know how I'm always fumbling to set up the live before we get started? Like Jerry rigging it with like a scrunchie and everything. Today I just clipped it into the thing, I love it. But I'll link, yeah, for sure, let me make a little note. I'll link um, both ring lights. If I can write, there's my notepad. It's still early on the West Coast. I hear you, Cassie. It's so hard to find like a good time. Do I have extensions in my hair? I don't. Eileen, did you have gel? Or are you just removing regular polish? I had to remove my gel today. I was on a call with like insurance for probably like an hour and a half. So I just removed my gel while I was chatting with them, which was a good use of time, I guess. Those clips though, the Tina Tours are so helpful. Okay. We have a nice cleanup project coming. When, oops, venture out today. I had to go to a couple of stores and it was complete madness. I swear to myself I was done going out, but tomorrow I may have to hit up one or two. We'll see. Oh, Annika, you're a brave soul. Brave soul. 
Okay, so here's the difference between two coats and one coat. You could tell it definitely darkens up and loses a little bit of that red undertone, but it's like your classic burgundy. I love it. I'm very happy. Hopefully it stays intact. Never tried this polish, so could chip, could peel, who knows? That would be not ideal for Christmas. You like the two coats? It's a little streaky on one, to be honest, especially this thumb. I don't know if you could tell, it's so streaky. But two coats, like you have to do two coats of polish to know what it really looks like. Oh, okay, Eileen, you're in the clear then. That shouldn't take too long. Ugh, I really wish I had some Christmas music on. I ripped out my extensions. Oh my God, ah, oh, don't rip them, don't rip them. Oh, okay, Holo Taco, Holo Taco, Holo Taco. My sister was telling me about this brand and I need to know more. Do you like them? What's the wear time? What are their brushes like? Are they the next olive in June? No snacks today. Um, funny story about snacks. So we had a really crazy day here, like at our home, Dan and I, and we had no dinner plans and he wasn't even supposed to be home for dinner. Long story. Um, but he made eggplant parm. We got an eggplant and he's like somewhat allergic to it slash really doesn't like it. Um, so he made me eggplant parm and he was going to come surprise me with it on the live, but I was so hungry and I ate it really quick before. <laughs> but he did a great job, came out so good. I haven't had eggplant in forever, because he doesn't like it. If he did, I would make it more. He's a regular old chef. Kid whips up some good stuff. Holo Taco, minimal chipping. Also, some of the colors are one coat. Ooh, one coat polishes are it. I am on the East Coast, and I missed the question before then. Yeah, where are you guys all from? Even if you just say coasts or time zones. It seems like it's a good mix. Canada, Toronto, Alaska. I did cut my nails. East Coast, Wisconsin, Arizona. Nice. I want to go to Arizona so bad. And Utah, those are both on my list. Hey, New York, San Diego, South America. Oh my gosh, what time is it in South America? Italy! <laughs> Braxton, it does feel good um, when you take extensions out. That's how I feel when I cut my nails or take out, um, or take off, like tips or something. California. What's it like in California right now? I keep hearing mixed results of like, or mixed feedback about people who like can't go out um, like crazy lockdown rules and then the people I follow it's like they're out ice skating and just enjoying life it's a crazy time California shelter in place okay like all of California or is it just a certain area oh my god you got to tan last week oh I have to tan tonight thank you for reminding me snow in Missouri you guys are gonna have a white Christmas lucky we got a ton of snow last week and it hasn't melted yet. All of California, Indiana, 10 p.m. curfew. So like one blogger I follow her, she took her kids ice skating in California. Like, can you do that? Like, I don't know where they are. I think they're in like Orange County area. Thank you. I'm loving them. I'm gonna do the thumbs though. This is the hardest part.
what brand is that? This is Nails Ink. I should put it up like higher. LA County head at 10 p.m. Yeah, like they were all ice skating. I'm like, wow, that looks so nice. It was like the beach, palm trees, and then this ice skating rink at some hotel. It was set up. I was like, wow, that's cool. Yeah, we really haven't been doing any uh, extracurriculars. <laughs> like going nowhere except to the stores pretty much. I have gone to a couple restaurants. Um here and there and honestly like nobody is in them I feel to be 100% honest I feel the safest in restaurants because they're completely empty um but not so much recently we did a lot more in the summer but it's just so weird it's a weird year I feel so bad for these restaurants and and all these small businesses that were forced to close I got to see my hairstylist today and she um like even her they had to close down for a couple months. Fave chip and snack. Oof, that's a tough one. I do like sour cream and onion, or sour cream and cheddar. Or hot Cheetos once in a while. 16,000 new cases in LA. Yes, oh my God, Cassie, me too. I went in September with my sister. We had the entire theater to ourselves until after the previews started, and then two people came in. Otherwise, the theater was completely empty. And in the snack line, outside the ticket line, not a soul. Like, we did not see a soul. I was like, wow, this is the most socially distanced activity you could be doing right now. <laughs> yes, make it make sense. It's nice to support local. Yay, Susan! Second coat for your petty. I just finished my second coat for my mani, so we're gonna let these dry a few and then do a top and then clean up. Sometimes I like to clean up before the top coat, so maybe I'll do a little bit of that while we chat because it's easier without the extra. Yeah, the restrictions really don't make much sense. They really don't, and they're so different everywhere. local business for deliver or delivery or takeout. <laughs> we've been doing, we actually haven't been doing too much takeout lately. We've really just been cooking a ton. But yeah, like I said before, our restaurants are dead, at least where we live. Like completely empty. I feel so bad. I'm shocked so many of them got hockey. It's crazy, like everything. It's crazy what has like survived and what is really hurting right now. As much as I love cleaning up, I'm not that good at it. Monica, where are you? <laughs> Lauren, it's a great, it's a handy little tool. You'll be obsessed now. You could dip it right into the pod that it comes with too. But I just like the acetone more. But the cleanup brushes are a game changer. All right, no more to uh, COVID talk because it's kind of depressing. Let's get back to the Christmas stuff because that's what this is, a Christmas Eve Eve celebration. Whoops. I'm still in a little bit of denial that Christmas is one day away. Where did the time go? It's not working. New Year's Eve. I thought about that, doing a New Year's Eve Manny, but I'm like, I, this one might hold up until then. We'll see. 
Um, what was the question I just saw before that? Red is like, you can't go wrong with red this time of year. My cuticles and Cuticles are tough. Just keep, I just say keep using oils. Keep your hands hydrated. Um, moisturize over and over and over. Hi, Allie. Welcome. Um, and then what was the question after that? See, I, like I read a question and think of the answer and then read another question and then forget both. But I like the Sally Hansen vitamin E. A lot of people love coconut oil. I've gotten good results with that. You just sit tight. My oil's coming soon, and that will save you. It's so good. It's really so good. I'm very, very, very excited. I just, it's so hard to get everybody on the same page. Ooh, yeah, castor oil. I was on a castor oil kick back in October. I was using it, like, on my hair, skin, and nails, and it actually, it does work well. It's, somebody says, well, of course I smudged. Ugh! Somebody says it smells like cigarettes, and that's exactly what it smells like. Um, but the smell fades pretty quickly. It's not like it lingers. But it's a really great oil. Super thick if you need to repair. But yeah, I'll be selling it online. I mean, the goal would be eventually to have it in stores, but we're starting, starting small. Okay, so to clean up this smudge I just did, I'm going to try to... Remove the smudged part. Ugh, I'm so annoyed. Yeah, the smell, honestly, it didn't bother me. A lot of people could not stand it when I was reviewing before purchasing, but it, it really didn't bother me in the least. Like, you smell a little bit when you apply, but it, it fades very quickly. Ugh, breaking and peeling is the worst. Um, try filing in one direction and investing in a glass file. Usually the peeling or splitting is from filing. It also can be from a manicure chipping. Like if the tips of your nails begin to chip, it's probably time to swap out the mani. At least in my experience. When I let that get too um, messy up top, they start to peel and or split. I always mess up the thumb. Ugh, that's gonna bother me. I'm gonna be tempted to do the whole thumb over. Second coat, you can really, really dry, put them in oil. Yes, gloves overnight, same for your feet. Agree, Cassie, when your nails start to chip, they start to peel. It's like, you gotta keep them protected at all times. Glass files really are the best. They are a godsend. You can, I think you can file in both directions with a glass file. I do, and I really don't notice any bad effects from it, but if you, like these kinds of files, go back and forth, you're gonna chew up your nail. Capping does help as well. You girls see, you're on it. I just love that everybody shares all their tips. Me too. I always save the thumbs for last, but I save them for last of each coat. Otherwise, I wait way too long to finish the manicure because I've got to wait like extra. Oh my God, the gloves. You and me both. They're kind of a pain, but you realize how much they work when your nails aren't chipping super quick. You just have to be like... Very regimented. Your nails are jewels, not tools. I tell myself that every time I try to do something with them. Because you'll literally be like opening a box and then you'll break one. And you'll be like, wow, I knew I shouldn't have opened that box. Ooh. Christmas red, I love it.
come on. Clean up. It's kind of looking. This is an olive in June cleanup brush and it's so, so, so good. Oh, hey Peyton. I'm glad you made it. Welcome. All right, one more cleanup. What time is it? 50. Oh, yeah, we're getting, we're creeping up on the hour mark. I always try to keep it around an hour because we could be there here all night. It takes me forever to do my nails alone. So when you're talking to people, it takes even longer. But yeah, we're, we've got to watch a Christmas movie tonight. That is top of my list. Must do this evening. All right. Let's go for the top coat. Oh, this thumb. I think it's going to bother. One Tree Hill or Parenthood? I like wanted to give One Tree Hill a try, but never have. Bordeaux Glow, ooh, that sounds like something I need. And it's a Sally Hansen. Was One Tree Hill as good as the OC? Oh my gosh, do you guys, anyone who's on TikTok, do you follow Timmit28, T-I-M-M-I-T 28, I think his handle is? He's been re-watching Laguna Beach and the Hills and just sharing um, his commentary for different scenes, you will get so sucked in. I've been watching his t TikToks like religiously. They're hysterical. And I just want to watch Laguna Beach from the beginning now. We tried. I got Dan to watch an episode the other night because I thought we had it with our Prime. We were able to watch one, but then we couldn't watch another episode. So I think we had to get like a subscription to the channel. I don't know, we have YouTube TV, it all confuses me. I wanna forgive you and I wanna forget you. Yes, epic. Most followed person, is it still Charlie D'Amelio? Marissa was the worst, she was actually the worst. I didn't care for Ryan that much either. Like I liked him, but my favorite was Seth, hands down. 10, 100 mil, that's legit. That's a lot of freaking followers. TikTok is so interesting because you really can just like blow up out of nowhere. You don't even know what, like there's no rhyme or reason. The most random videos just take off, but I love it. So people are just so creative. Chris, Chris Mika, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100 million, that's a lot. Her life completely changed this year. Well, her family was actually from Connecticut. And um, I think they moved out to California. I could be mistaken, but that's what I thought now that they're all famous and whatnot. Bye, bunny. Have fun. Merry Christmas. Thanks for stopping by or popping in. We're almost there. I have seven more fingers that need a top coat. And honestly, I might finish this clean up in the morning because sometimes when the nails are completely dry, it's a little easier to clean up. But I am loving it. I don't know if you could tell, like in the cuticle a little bit, they're slightly Saturated. I don't know what the word is. <clears throat> yeah, TikTok is so interesting, and I find that the only videos of mine that do well are food related, so that's fine. TikTok can be my food place. I love trying all the weird, like, recipes that people share. There's so many good ones. I did the fried pickle thing this week in the waffle maker. <laughs> Hi, Milani. Thank you. Thanks for watching.
Oh, somebody asked before about pajamas. So we've been doing pajamas on Christmas Eve, like to Christmas Eve. And um, I bought a pair yesterday at Kohl's and I don't think I like them. I kind of want to return them, but now I don't have any fun pajamas to wear. I never wear cute pajamas to bed. I always just wear sweats. But I need some good Christmas jammies. I do have a few pairs, but I've already worn them. Can you be a pajama outfit repeater for Christmas? I don't know. I guess you can. But I thought it'd be fun to get, like, new jammies. Where's a good place to get PJs, like, if you guys go shopping for Christmas pajamas? I know Old Navy always has a ton. I love the Burt's Bees, my cousin. Oops, is the Burt's Bees one of the designers so she helps make all the really cute pajamas Burlington ooh PJ's never heard of Kohl's that's where I went yesterday and I did get a cute set my nails weren't why I picked them up um, but they're not super Christmassy Annika are you out Merry Christmas ooh Victoria's Secret that's a good idea bye Milani yeah, I don't know if I feel like venturing tomorrow, but I've got to figure out how to get a cute pair of Christmas jammies for, for dinner. This year, like, we're all home, we're not doing anything, and I still somehow didn't finish my shopping, like, nearly in time. So next year, I'm making it a goal now. I want to get all my shopping, like, started in September and just done before Thanksgiving. I'm really, really, really going to try. We'll see. But this whole last minute thing, I don't... It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. That didn't look too good. Wow, this thumb is giving me problems. The thumb is going to have three coats, and it is what it is. We're going to put this top coat on later. All right, one more for now, and then I'm pretty much done. Where are you guys on your manis? Is anyone done already? Okay. Since I just painted a third coat on that, I don't want it to smudge. Do I send my nail pick on your Manny Fam account or my other one? You can send it to the Manny Fam. I need to be, I don't know. The Manny Fam needs a revamp next year. This is why I keep like starting and stopping it. It's just, I don't know. It's hard to be consistent with one account, let alone two. Uh, I let my nails dry for a good amount of time. I would say at least like an hour. When I paint them, I like to make sure I have nothing to do afterwards. Like, that's why I like painting them at night. And then if I let them dry well before bed, they really don't smudge. I can't even tell you the last time my nails smudged in bed. Ooh, a schedule. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's a good idea. <laughs> It is a paint. Well, Milani, you sound like a gel contender. I can see your messages. I think that was Sophie. It, I just missed them because they come on the screen for like two seconds. Yes, you're wearing wine. Ooh. I feel like that Sally Hansen color looks like this one kind of. No, I see you. Gels are the best. Um, I honestly, I was taking a break from gel just because my nails are short when they're longer. I like the gel cause it helps keep them strong and prevents them from breaking. But when they're short, they really don't break. What was my answer for what Emily? What was the question? Which one? I'll revisit. I have done acrylics. 
Oh yeah, I used to be a big acrylic fan, especially back in high school. <laughs> what color did you do, Sophia? Oh, for my IG account. Um, you could send to the Manny fam. I mean, you could send them to both, but I like to repost them on the Manny fam because everyone usually likes to see them there. Two days for gel? No way. No problem. I thought about white. Maybe I'll do white in January. Definitely. What white are you using, Megan? White, tan, darker tan. Oh, like a brown ombre? That sounds gorgeous. I love a good ombre. Okay. All I need is a cuticle oil and a top coat for this three coat of color thumb. And then we're done. And then I can go watch a Christmas movie. Is anyone watching a Christmas movie tonight? Let me know what you're gonna watch. Give me some inspo. I guess I could put oil on the other fingers. Uh oh, gotcha, Milani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna make Dan watch one. Not that he would care. He likes Christmas movies too. Hi, Nandini. Did I say that properly? No worries for being late, guys. There's no attendance. Um, I used today this Nails Ink Polish. The lid back on. In the color Victoria. Oh, is the Holiday the one with Emma Roberts? Is it Emma Roberts? I think I watched that a few weeks ago. It was long. I felt like it was a long movie. It was cute, but I was like, this is really long. <laughs> My attention span is just getting worse these days. Christmas with the Karnak, I'm guessing it's Christmas with the Greggs. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. We were saying that before. I know Love Actually is the best. Hi, Natalie. Merry Christmas Eve, Eve. Emily, I'm on it, girl. I would love that. That would be a dream, especially because I have to change my initials next year. Just throwing that out into the universe. Maybe I'll manifest an AV polish with Olive and June this year or this coming year. That'd be amazing. Uh, we were talking about Christmas movies before. The Santa Claus is my favorite. Maybe we'll watch that tonight because we haven't seen it yet this year. Yeah, what's not to love about Christmas? I am with you. How is it Christmas? Like, how, 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 how did we get here? I'm My mind is, like, blown this whole year. Every month it was like, how is it June? How is it July? How is it? It's crazy. Hello, Canada. Hi, Brandy. I really don't do nail art, no. <laughs> um, I have a couple OPI. I have one... Is it, maybe that's C&D, their solar oil, I really, really loved. And then, um, I just got another oil. It's in a box. I don't know what it is, but I haven't used it yet. Favorite Christmas song? I love, well, the classic, the Mariah Carey one. All I want for Christmas is you. Ariana Grande song, Justin Bieber song, Britney Spears a song. Those are all favorites too. I don't know. There's so many out there. But we were talking about songs the other day, and it's crazy how there's not that many new ones. Like, there's just the classics, and then people who remake the classics. Ooh, I'm not sure about the difference between those two. They sound very similar. Oh, Natalie, you're in the spirit. You're doing all the Christmas things. All right, this thumb is getting a top coat, and then we are almost done. Today I did this one, for those who missed it. Nails Ink in the color of Victoria. I'm very happy with it. We'll see how it holds up. I'll try to do a um, 
a follow-up post somewhere. Coming all the way back here for the top coat. Okay. The thumbs are always the hardest. There we go. In sync, yes. Yes, 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 yes. You have to include in sync. And happy holiday. That reminds me of like seventh grade, but in a good way. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. How long does it take to usually do a full manicure? Um, a regular manicure, I would set aside 45 minutes to an hour to a lot for dry time too. Um, when I'm not talking or like being distracted and then for a gel the gels quicker because there's really no dry time so probably like 30 or so 35 thanks for coming to the live thank you everyone who popped in I don't know Eileen we'll find out I'm gonna go scan I know I love the lives too and I definitely have to get on a schedule in 2021 I'm going to work on it I'm gonna try to pick a day and time every month and that's that's it that's just gonna be what it is and we'll definitely do a wedding, maybe a wedding live, Manny. I don't know, maybe not actually, because I'm going to want to <laughs> focus, but we'll see. You guys are the best. You're so great. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Send me pictures of your nails. You can send them to the Manny fam. Here is my final product. I'm going to do a little cleanup in the morning, but overall I'm happy. I like this color. I guess I crave like dark darks on Christmas. But I hope you guys have the best holiday. I hope Santa is good to you and your families. Enjoy it. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel all the time, especially this year. I appreciate it so much. I really do. Yay. I'm glad you guys had fun. I did too. Everyone have a great night and keep in touch on IG. <laughs> That's where I try to post the most, but I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone, Merry Christmas.